Hello brothers and sisters. Today we hear once again the account of uh, the healing that Jesus does with the woman with hemorrhage, as well as the resurrection of the child, the daughter of Jairus, the leader of the synagogue. When Jesus is walking around and he is in the midst of a crowd, first of all, right? We hear today the shorter version from Saint Matthew and uh, with less details, but still it is the same core message, right? That God, Jesus Christ, invites us to, to not be afraid, but to believe. To believe that He is God and that He can do the things that are impossible to us if we only have faith, if we trust in Him. And this is one beautiful thing for me in this Gospel, is that Jesus, He, in the midst of a crowd, He singles out the woman with hemorrhage, because He knows that she has touched His cloak, and that through her faith, power has gone out of Him to her. And as well, He takes away the family of Jairus, from the midst of that crowd that was disbelieving, that was wailing, that were laughing at him as well, and he makes their house a little house of prayer. That family, with the father, the mother, who had just lost their daughter, together with Jesus and some of his disciples, become a house of prayer. When Jesus kind of chases away the disbelieving crowd, and he gathers those few people to pray with him and the miracle happens there right the same thing with the woman with hemorrhage she's singled out right even the disciples in the version that mark gives us they are surprised they are like no why, what are you saying jesus you know we are in the midst of this crowd you're asking who touched you come on are you crazy and jesus no he's not crazy right he says no there is someone who with her faith has touched me, has encountered with me, with my love, with my power. And he finds that woman and he tells her, your faith has saved you. And this is our, our life as well, if you want, as church, right? As people in the church. Every Sunday or every time we go to Mass, we are gathered together, taken away from the crowd, from the midst of the world, and put in a place with Jesus Christ, with His Church, so that we can listen to His words and receive His wisdom and the graces that He wants to give us, that we are also open to receive, as well as receiving, of course, His body and blood in the Holy Sacrament of the Eucharist. And the same thing is also for us as we are. This is a video in the YouTube channel of the Office of Vocation, so must talk about vocation, right? If you have a call in your life, be it to be a priest, to be a religious brother or sister, to be uh, married, or even if you feel that, you know, you are not called to any of those things, but that in your life as a single person, you want to serve the Gospel, yes, God is talking to you. He is single, singling you out. And he wants to give you the discernment that you need. So that's why we need the church. We need, when we hear, we feel that God is calling us, we go to the church and we gather with people of our same uh, faith, our same thoughts, that have the same mind, and that are at least, you know, if we don't, we don't all think the same, uh, we are at least striving towards the same goal that is to be in communion with God and to find out what is His will for us. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of looking for discernment. If you feel called to the seminary, yes, seek ways of finding out how to get there and discern, right? If you are thinking of getting, getting married, yes, discern that with your uh, fiancé, or boyfriend or girlfriend, think seriously about those things and discern them seriously, right? And for all vocations, we need to look for what is the will of God through prayer, through also 
going towards the church and asking the church to help us discern. So have courage, do not be afraid. Just only believe and let Jesus Christ continue talking to you and giving you the wisdom that you cannot give to yourself. May God bless you. See you next time.